Somebody recently told me that every single thing that you do is content. <laughs> well, the angle is just gonna be awkward and you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. I'm so sorry. Hi, welcome to this video. I have no idea what this is going to be and I wanted to do something productive. If I pull my camera out, I will feel like I have to do things for content. So here we are. I need to clean a little bit because the house could use some freshening up. If you can hear that sound in the background, I'm doing laundry. I've started doing things. I also have to go to the bank. I gotta pay rent. And then I have to freshen up my room because it's, she needs some attention. And also my bathroom. Don't know how much of that I'm gonna show because cleaning videos don't do well, but whatever. Fun fact, if you're bad at watering your plants, you can do what I do, put an ice cube. Just take one ice cube and put it in here. I learned that on TikTok. I feel weird. <laughs> you guys remember, you probably don't, when I used to make theme park vlogs, I was such a different person back then. Actually, I wasn't. I was the same as I am now, just still had a little motivation in me. Yeah, that's correct. I was actually gonna start cleaning my room, but groceries have been delivered, so I'm gonna do that instead. Milk! <laughs> I'm so excited to have milk! It's this kind, I've never tried it before, but they had no other milk at the store. So we're trying this. I think I've mentioned this in a TikTok, but if you're on a gluten-free diet, this mac and cheese is so good and it's so easy to make. Also, if you don't like actually cooking or meal planning your lunch for work, these are awesome and they're gluten-free. Not this one though, but I don't care. I don't wanna talk about how much money my groceries were. They were an obscene amount of money. I barely bought anything, honestly. I had COVID a couple weeks ago and I'm still coughing. So that's been fun to deal with, especially at my job where I talk to people all day. <sighs> if you're not drinking enough water, get yourself an emotional support water bottle. It doesn't have to be a hydro flask. Just get a bottle with a straw. I cannot express to you the importance of a straw. Trust me. This shirt has a pizza stain on it, but we're just gonna ignore that. I'm trying to find a spot to put you guys. I haven't made a video in years. I don't know if it's become obvious to you. But I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's kind of why I started making this video in the first place because my mental health right now is trash. If I put you over here, you're slanted. <laughs> That's not a good shot. I've learned this the hard way, but if you're trying to make a video on your phone specifically and you want to listen to music in the car, it doesn't work. Did you guys know that? Because I was today years old when I found that out. So you guys are gonna have to just listen to me. I would apologize, but honestly, I'm not sorry. You clicked on the video, so this is what you're getting. We're going to Starbucks because I want a treat. All right, let's talk about mental health. I've had pretty bad mental health for most of what I can remember in the last year, it's been probably the worst. With the exception of one other time before the pandemic, my mental health was trash and I wasn't eating well. That, But that's for like a whole other video. I'm at peak loneliness right now. My life has changed a lot in the last year. I've ended some friendships with people that were not great. And at the time I didn't realize it. I ended a friendship with somebody who was my friend for many years. I was unhappy for most of our friendship, but they don't know that, I don't think. I think to them it, it was like, I just made something up out of nowhere and said, I don't wanna be your friend anymore because of this reason. While I understand that it looked that way, 
it wasn't that way. Anyway, I have a couple of friends, but we're all working adults, so we don't get to see each other that often. Hi, can I please have a grande pink drink without the strawberries? I probably should not have got an iced drink because I'm still coughing, but who cares? Did I show you guys my pink drink? There it is. No strawberries. Perfection. Every time I come to the bank, I have to open the door because I can't reach the ATM. So give me a second while I do that. I just got this wallet. So now I'm curious to see if it will hold all this cash. Oh, it's tight, but it holds it. We love that. I'm dumb and didn't buy enough groceries to like make an actual lunch. So I think I'm gonna stop somewhere. Honestly, eating out is my downfall. It's just so easy to go to the drive-thru. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. I'm full. <laughs> We've talked about this in previous videos, I think. Not on here, on TikTok. I sneeze when I get full. And that's currently what's happening. <laughs> I had Arby's, by the way. Should I have gone out to get fast food? No. But I did anyway. Back to housework. <laughs> See you guys literally in two seconds. Somebody recently told me that every single thing that you do is content. And I think that's gonna be what this channel turns into. It's gonna be me showing you guys every single thing that I do. Not everything, but most things. I'm out of breath from carrying my laundry up the stairs. So sorry, I don't have anything more exciting to show you guys, but this is, this is the plan today. Clean and do laundry. I'm done. You guys might recognize this if you're a regular, uh, at a place. Which I will not be discussing on this channel. You might occasionally see me in that, but we're not gonna talk about it. I think I've made it pretty clear that this is not my full-time job. This is for fun. Laundry is done. Now I have to clean the rest of my room. Here, let me show you what we're working with. That's my bed. That's what I'm sleeping in later. That's my throw blanket. This should honestly be up here, but it's not. My bookshelf, my corner that we ignore. My chest of drawers. My TV, Samantha, my desk. Also my closet, but that's probably for a different video. And my chair. I have some things on the ground, but <laughs> it's really not that bad. I mean, that's pretty messy. <laughs> I definitely have to freshen up my bathroom though. She needs some attention. I'm gonna do that first, actually. Don't mind me, I'm just putting my toilet paper away. For some reason, we keep it downstairs instead of up here. Don't ask me why we do that. We just do. How do you guys put your toilet paper? I hang it like this. I know there's a lot of debate about what side your toilet paper is supposed to be on. What does it say about me? I don't even know. This is just how I do it. I don't think I've mentioned having ADHD in this video yet, but I found out that I have ADHD and one of the things that I'm constantly doing is I'm walking into things. I forget what it's called. I know someone will tell me, but I do the thing where I don't know how much space I take up. I walk into a lot of things. A couple years ago, um, I made a video on TikTok because I walked into my dresser, my toe was bruised for like a week and walking on it was painful. I walk into furniture all the time. Don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna tell you guys. When I was a teenager, I was at the airport. I walked into like a glass booth. I walked into it. I wasn't paying attention to where I was going and I <laughs> couldn't see it in my peripherals because it was made of glass. My family proceeded to laugh at me for the rest of the day. That was fun. Okay, pretty much tidied everything up. 
that looks significantly better. Earlier I mentioned bad mental health and I feel like I need to go into details so you guys don't worry about me. I have the kind of mental health that makes me extremely bored. The voice in my head is constantly telling me that I suck at everything and that I'm stupid and that I'm always doing everything wrong and that someone's gonna come out and tell me you're not doing that right even though I know that's not true. She's also always telling me that I look stupid. For example, this outfit right now, biker shorts and a t-shirt. I know that I don't look stupid, but the voice in my head is trying desperately to tell me that this looks like Hey Sam. And it's not true. That's part of the thing. Also, I'm just bored all the time. I'm on a never ending loop of feeling lonely. So I make plans and I go out with people, but then I'm out and I don't connect with people anymore. I don't feel like the same fulfillment that I used to feel when I would hang out with people. So then I stop hanging out with people, but then I'm lonely again. I have stopped hanging out with a lot of people mostly because they treated me like garbage. Some of them were homophobic, others were ignorant, some of them were just not nice to me. One person specifically treated me like a literal doormat. Of course, I stopped hanging out with them. They don't understand that. They think that I've made it all up in my head. I just, I've been having a hard time with friends and maybe that's why I picked up my camera today. I don't know if this is gonna become a regular thing. I think we're gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. Don't know if there'll be another one. There might be. I don't know. See you guys later.